All right, this is an example of a screencastify that you can do when uh, to give your presentation about the information from your interview. Um, as you can see, I am doing screencastify, and when I chose screencastify, I selected um, sh the um, option of webcam being embedded in the um, picture. Okay. So that's an option when you first go to select the Screencastify. So then you can see me, but then also you can see that I have my outline right here. And when you are delivering your presentation, you want to use your outline and not necessarily what you wrote, because otherwise you're going to be just reading what you wrote. And when you are giving a presentation, you want to be a little bit more natural and conversational, like you're having um, you're explaining things to your audience. So it's not that you're just like reading from a book or from a piece of paper. So that's why I have my outline up. The outline is going to remind me about what I want to say. Um, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't have some sort of an introduction to, um, you know, kind of let your audience know, kind of grab their attention. Um, you should try to do that. So um, I'm going to do that for you as well. And it's going to look very similar to what I actually wrote. Um, which is fine. I think you can have your introduction written out. That's fine. But everything else should be kind of, um, you've practiced it and you are going to sound um, well versed or you know what you're talking about for the rest of it. All right. So here is your example. So I am going to use the first part of my past, my introduction here. Um, and just kind of read it, but the rest of it I'm going to use, I'm going to just kind of go off of my outline. So here it is. So in the past 80 years, there have been many historical events worth noting. However, my 80 year old father, um, I asked him which historical event stood out for him and the most to him, the thing that he remembered the most was the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Now, the assassination, I'm going to go back to my outline now. The assassination uh, took place on November 22nd, 1963. At that time, my father was living in a small town in Illinois. It's about an hour and 15 minutes from the suburbs, like from here. Um, so just kind of give you an idea. It was kind of a smaller town. Um, so November 22nd, 1963. Um, John F. Kennedy, who was our 35th president, he was down in um, in Dallas, Texas, and he was doing some a fundraising campaign. And he and his wife Jacqueline were um, on, in a road, um, like a different type of. Uh, they're driving around in a convertible on their way to a location where they were going to, he was going to give a speech. And they had the convertible open and everybody could see them. And as he was passing um, a, lo a certain location, um, the person who, it, who shot him, uh, John Harvey uh, Oswald, he shot them, shot or shot the president. And uh, at 1230 and a half an hour later, John F. Kennedy was pronounced dead at the hospital in uh, Parkland Memorial Hospital in Dallas. Now, the impact of this event was um, very, it, it involved the entire country. When my dad, when it first happened for my dad, he was a, working in a factory and he was a supervisor at a factory and he was called by his supervisor they into the break room he they kind of shut down production and they brought him into the break room and he told them he looked very upset the supervisor looked very upset and he told them that the president had died was shot and had been killed and some of the people were like are you kidding this isn't they're like, you must be making this up. This is not funny. This is not funny because the supervisor was kind of a jokester. He kind of made up stories and um, he was like, no, this is real. And they believed him because they, he sent them all home 
they um, stop that. Um, I know that in uh, they also through closed the schools, like they sent kids home during this time. It was very, this was a very tragic event. It's one that was very shocking to people. Um, not everybody during this time, the president w- was somebody that everybody really looked up to, even if they didn't agree with his politics or his policy. So this had a, a huge impact on everybody. This, uh, there was lots of, it's something this um, violent to someone in the United States, it hadn't happened for a very long time, you know, for a very, very long time. And so for people to have the, to have this happen was very upsetting to people. Um, when my dad was driving downtown in the city, he saw people kind of huddled together talking, but they were crying. They had their handkerchiefs out and they were wiping their tears. Um, so he went home and his daughter, my sister, um, she was only maybe like a year and a half old. And so she wouldn't really remember any of this, but they, they only had a, they had a TV. They didn't have really small TVs yet then, but it was relatively big and it was black and white, of course. And TV was, you know, it hadn't been around that long and the news on TV was just at a certain time usually you know around five or six o'clock it never came on during the day and so um there was a news program on in the middle of the day and people were and this was something that was new and um kind of disturbing to people as well so this is kind of like the impact of it and people kind of sat in front of their tvs for many days for you know a whole week watching what was happening up into the funeral and um even it was even more shocking to them too when um harvey oswald was um killed right on tv so some of the takeaways that i have from this talking to my dad about his experience is that sometimes things that i mean this is so far remote this is not like he knew President Kennedy, but when something that's known to everyone is and has an impact on everyone, it kind of unifies a group, the pe- people. Like you could probably talk to just about anybody from that time period and they'll be like, well, where were you when JFK was killed? And they would all be able to talk about it. And that would be it's like kind of a something they had in common, a commonality between them. So these events have an have an opportunity to bring people together, and in a bad I mean it's a it was a bad situation, but that people all experienced this, um, and that they were all t- together with that, and kind of had the same t- sort of impact. Um, so that would be one of the big things my takeaways from that. So in conclusion, I would say that um, this was a great experience to have this conversation with my dad and to um and he enjoyed talking about it and kind of going back in time and thinking about what life was like during that time um and to kind of give me an impression about what his life was like so i think this was a great opportunity to connect with my dad and to also um and to learn a little bit more about history so that would be like my, my presentation for this Screencastify. I, I went through, you can see how I went through um, my outline. I didn't say things word for word. Um, I just talked about the different parts of the what we want you to cover in the presentation. You know, what was the historical event? What was the impact? Um, what are the takeaways that you're supposed to get from the um, your interview. What did you learn? And then in conclusion, you know, you want to have your introduction, you want to have your conclusion, and you probably want those written out for you. Okay, you can write those out, and if you need to, you know, use your slides. You kind of go back and forth between them if you need to, so that you can um, give a nice, smooth presentation.